I'm joined now via FaceTime by Mike Ashmore. Mike coached Josh Pernod when he was an age group swimmer. Nice to see you, Mike. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Okay, so we saw Josh just have an incredible Rio performance, but you knew him when he was just a little guy. What was Josh like when he was a little age group swimmer? Uh, well, you know, he was always really, really competitive. Uh, you know, even at nine years old, I remember that he used to get extremely insane about card games and, uh, you know, some just epic battle card games happening in our age group program with the other nine, ten boys and, and girls. Um, but also always, you know, really high goals and, and wanted to know about swimming and, and how to get better and how to get, you know, become a better athlete. I love it. So competitive both in and out of the water, which I think a lot of us can relate to. Now, did breaststroke, cho <laughs> did breaststroke choose him from a young age? Was he always a breaststroker? Yeah, he told me when he was like nine, ten years old, he actually said, you know, I only do breaststroke. And I had to say, yeah, that's not how that's going to work. Um, and then we pursued a lot of IM and, and for a while it looked like butterfly would, you know, really take off. And I think that that's, uh, ultimately what's helped his breaststroke, you know, was, is how good he is at dolphin kick and butterfly has really played in how breaststroke's being swum right now. Um, but we pursued a fairly versatile, uh, event schedule and for a while it's even swimming the 800 in the mile. And, and, uh, we had some deals to get out of the mile at some points. Um, you know, and, and to the, the college schedule that you see now of the, you know, both IMs and both breaststrokes. I love it. So this is somebody, Josh, that you, you knew as an age group swimmer, you know, you saw him grow up, um, you know, we're a big part of his age group career. What's it like to watch him now compete on the world's greatest stage? Well, I mean, obviously it's, it's, it's fabulous to see him, uh, you know, have that kind of success, but, but also, you know, this is a goal that he's had for a very, very long time. And, and uh, to see all of that work out uh, long term and, and, you know, as, as you know, that sometimes it doesn't always look like it's going to work out and, and uh, to stay with it and, and to continue. I think we've seen that a lot in this game. There's a lot of people that might have bowed out that, that stayed the course and, and then suddenly it works out uh, in their favor later on. And, so to see all of that uh, for him personally, you know, it's a great family and, and he's a great individual. And then uh, to see all that hard work pay off for him is, is really great. And, and then also for our age group team to see somebody that they know uh, take it all the way is also really, really great. That's amazing because that's how we all got started. We all got started by playing card games on the side of the pool as we're waiting for our races. And, and you know, such humble beginnings, I think, is so inspiring for kids who, who can see that. You know, nobody's born an Olympian. So how cool. And thank you, Mike, for taking the time and sharing some stories with us. We can't wait to watch more of what Josh has in store for us as his career continues. So thanks. So nice to meet you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Do you want to get involved in the funnest sport? Now it's easier than ever to find a swim team near you. All you have to do is go to swimtoday.org, type in your zip code, and all of the local clubs will pop up. So put a swimsuit on, throw some goggles on, hop in the water, and let us know how it's going using hashtag swimunited. We will see you in the water.